All right, we're back. Draft Spotlight, NBA Detroit Piston version. Uh, appreciate everybody for checking in. Talking about uh, forward Calden Johnson from Kentucky. All right, um, slasher, improving shooter, great defender, probably the best defender coming out the draft. And, um, yeah, how would he fit for the Pistons? We know the, fifth, the Pistons got the, the 15th pick in the draft. Um, they did make the playoffs. And, um, you know, everybody looking for somebody to come in that can shoot. We talked about Tyler Hero. Um, we talked about somebody else as well. can't remember who we talked about. But um, I like Calvin Johnson. I like his potential. He was the number seven for overall recruit last year. Coming into college, he was Kentucky's number one recruit. Long, athletic, um, slasher. Uh, can get up and down the floor about 6'6". Six, six. You got like a like – a, uh, you know, I think they said an eight foot uh, standing standing reach or something like that. Uh, can attack the basket, um, but there's some things he do need to improve on ball handling and shooting. He's an improving uh, improving shooter. Um, he's starting to hit that that standstill three pointer. But now we take it a foot or two, you know, to the NBA three point range. That's going to be another adjustment you got to make. But you really got to look at. You can't look at what they can do right now. You know. You can't just look at that. You got to look at what they can develop into and what improvements that actually can happen. That's how you can look over a Giannis or overlook a C.J. McCollum or overlook a Clint Capella, Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili. You just can't rate them now. You got to be able to rate them on their work ethic, work, rate them on, on, you know, how, you know, their personality and, you know, and see the potential in them. And potential will get you hurt, but if your potential also hurts you as well if you don't see it. You know, and Calvin Johnson, man, obviously everybody wants somebody that can come in here and that can shoot the lights out and, and, and just be, you know, be amazing and be an all-star their first rookie year. That really don't turn out this way, man. If you got a coach now, unlike coaches in the past from Rick Carlisle, Larry Brown, that, that's key on developing players and not waiting until a desperate time to throw them in the game, like Tayshaun Prince, that, you know, Dwayne Casey could uh, develop. Uh, Calvin Johnson into something really that's good. Obviously, he's a blue chipper. He's a top 10 uh, recruit coming into college last year. Obviously, you know, he can slash. He can finish at the bucket. He can play a little bit stretch four for, for you, especially in today's NBA. He can get up and down the floor. He can finish at the bucket. He can go above you or go through you. He's a powerful finisher. And on top of that, he's an elite defender. And if you can get something out of Bruce Brown, you can refine his point guard skills, and you, he can he can develop – a game at the rim, a floater, and a 10 to 15 foot jumper, and then you actually have him out there with Calvin Johnson, who can extend it, who can find, who at some point is going to have to extend his range out to NBA three point range, and you know learn to master the mid range game. You got two elite defenders out there, and if you got two elite defenders out there, that's the that's 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 very important, you know. Then you continue to build around them with other, you know, people that can do elite things. But he's comparable to Justice Winslow. And um, I think Justice Winslow was a lot better shooter in college than he was. Obviously, he was shooting the lights off. He got to the NBA. It took him a minute to it took him a minute to uh, to to adjust to the NBA three point range, NBA game. But now he has. He's on. He hitting the ground running. It wouldn't surprise me one day if you know Justice Winslow was an All Star. You know what I'm saying? Or a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. So I think Calvin Johnson would be a great pickup for the Lions. I mean, for, excuse me, for the Pistons. I'm thinking about Calvin Johnson. And I know he don't fit the mode where everybody want to knock a, a dead eyes, drop down, knock down shooter. But like I said before, you know, I think you develop guys into that. And when you kind of go in the draft, only looking for a guy that, that fit, you know, we need him to come in and score 20 points off the bench or shoot 45% from three. When you come in the draft looking at that, that, that aspect and only looking at it with, 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 with your tunnel vision, you miss out on other potential prospects that can grow and develop into that, man. So the Pistons can't get tunnel vision on, on one aspect of prospects, all shooters. You got to look at the entire board and see what they could and what they can develop into. So that's just my personal opinion on it. I like the kid. I wouldn't be mad if the Pistons drafted him. Elite defender, at least at the end of the day, he can defend and he can finish at the bucket and he's developing his, his three-point shot. So Appreciate the love and support, man. Everybody giving the channel. Let me know what y'all think about Calvin Johnson. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email as need be. If you have a business question, a crowd response, if you have a video request, you want to make a donation, the link's in the description. Best way to donate is to share, share the video, man. But let me know, man. If you got any prospects you want me to do a video on, just email me or DM me. We gone.